Ramble. Thank you to Ship Station and Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's episode. Did you guys have a good wake up this morning? <sighs> Dude! Great question. It's crazy you ask, because yeah, for once. Really? You woke up feeling fresh and ready to go? I woke up the coziest, snuggest little bug. Uh, oh, I was, I was just a cozy little monster. I was grogged out of my dick, let me tell you. I was yeah. I was so groggly. You were dick groggly? I was dick groggles. I, I was just, yeah, I, I was up late editing and then didn't sleep well, and suddenly it was morning and I was disappointed. What were you uh, editing? Uh, I was editing the Luberger documentary that's like about Let's our go. time doing Wizard of Friendship, which, natural plug, Luberger's on tour this November. We're not doing the Wizard of Friendship, but we will be doing numbers for the Wizard of Friendship. But come check us out the first three weekends of November somewhere in America. Big ol' Natty Pleep, Natty P. Natty P. That felt good. And you now, can... what's the arc of the Luberger? Is there an is there a arc to the Luberger documentary where you guys get in a big argument as well? Or? <laughs> no. Uh. There's, there's, I wish there was, but there's not. <laughs> Um, no, there's little personal storylines that are nice. <laughs> That's great. I'll it's me it. understanding how to be a director. It's Brian Wool singing for the first time in wow. any musical, and it's an off-Broadway show where he has a solo. It's uh, uh, Huey doing like an actual music director role, like making sheet music, making arrangements, you know, creating an entire ensemble musical uh, group. And then Alex's story is that he, well, I don't want to spoil it, but he has a very interesting past with off-Broadway. And really? this is like his redemption story. <gasps> so there's like cool. there's lots of really great storylines. It's it's very fun, and it also it's you know we're in New York, so it's very it has this nice weird New York lived in vibe. And I'm mm-hmm. just trying to tweak it. Another editor did a great job back already. Back in the uh, in the, <sighs> the editing seat because that to me is the real fun. It is. Mm. It's really fun, and I actually that's why I was up late. I was I was in a groove. And I was like, ah, mm. I'm really close to figuring something out. And if I stop right now, it'll take yeah. me an hour to get back to yes. wherever I am. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, the thing about editing, especially if you're editing something like narrative or long, if you don't have three hours, mm-hmm. you might as well not even do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it's just a like, great yeah. message to the aspiring <laughs> creatives out there. <laughs> you don't have three hours, you better fucking get wrecked. Well, because a lot of editing is making something that totally fucking sucks and yeah. being mm-hmm. furious as to why and then moving one clip and being like, that's it. Yes. yes. And then you need an hour to reassemble that thing. I know. I see the discount toys, too. I think we should go. Yeah. The stickers. Discount toys, The by stickers the way. alone. Not a good plug for the toys that they're discount. Like, we're by the way, we are going. By the way, it should be called like <laughs> Burbank Toys, and then it's just like, hey, big sale. And then, you know what? That's, that's oh. speaking of moving a clip around. By the way, the Miles, <laughs> by the way, couldn't disagree more. Discount. If it was Burbank Toys, I'd be like, that's a toy sh- store. Discount toys, I want to know what knockoff shit they got. That's yeah. a good uh, question. W- welcome to the plug, everybody. It's a beautiful day in the ploggerhood. We're gonna be going to Dunkin' Donuts. Apparently, we're also getting discount toys. And right now, you're going to hear the thrilling conclusion to Keith editing. Uh, uh, yeah, it was really <laughs> fun, and I've, I've got a lot of work left to do. That's awesome. Yeah. But um, I know I love it. It's so fun to. I, I the reason we don't edit is because the way we edit, we we just need to. Oh, we, we should have gone in there. We really oh, oh, to the drive through. You want to go around the block? Oh, gonna, definitely go around. Are we drive through. I'm going to yeah. slink. I'm gonna yeah. slink. We got to drive through. Yeah, I got to go around the block. Um, go around the block. We got the time. You know what I'll say, gang, is... Uh, Tell us, gang. Well, I was also... Thanks, gang. Um, well, first of all, I just <laughs> thought it was interesting that Zach was drink, uh, drinking a piping hot tea from a mug yes. while we drive. No lid. Well, because yeah. I like to live my life dangerously. Loving that for you, King. Now, um, I also was editing last night. Oh! Wow, look at bragging all around. Uh, Eddie, sure. what about you? I was editing. Uh uh. I was actually. You know what? Uh, uh. I also got into premiere last you night. You guys kidding me. I, we were all us. were we all wow. like under the same moon? We were. <laughs> we were in the same <laughs> We industry. all freak you Friday <laughs> moon, as the same person. The moon was pretty last night. I don't know if you caught a glimpse. Sometimes I look up at it and I think, whoa. Look at that. Gothic house. We are squeezing by trucks left and right yeah, today. Geez. What is this? Ha- what is all this truck squeezing we're doing? It's truck day. It's truck day. So what it's were you t- editing, Miles? I was editing a YouTube video, and it. Uh, I hadn't made a YouTube video in a long time, uh, except for my Why I Left Truckers video, which I made recently. But the. By the way, how did that go? 
really well. Yeah. 16 million views. No, not 16, <laughs> but now it's going to sound not as good as 16. <laughs> but it has like 1.1, which That's is kind of crazy. 16. Really crazy, honestly. Are, are That's we, insane. I'm overwhelmed. I think it's too early to get to the drive-thru. We're in the middle of, of conversation. Oh, don't you worry, Zach. I've got more where this came from, and I'm going to need a donut to fuel up my story. We went heat. too far because there was a pothole I was trying to avoid. Can I we guess... get the thing where they blend the Keith? Keith, what? Can we get the Munchkins <laughs> drink? Sure. Yeah, they blend the pumpkin Munchkin Munchkins into it. Drink? That Apparently, it's no a bajillion calories. That sounds amazing. I'm actually wondering about the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Sausage and go savory at Duncan. Yeah. So this is exciting. I I brought my own piping hot tea because Hello. I look. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Um, uh, I will need a couple things. Is there a drink that has a munchkin like jumbled up in it? The ice spice munchkin drink. The ice spice munchkin drink, I guess. Can I get one of those? The ice Medium spice? is good. Is that, that's ice spice, the musician extraordinaire? Hell she yeah. She made it. She no, made she's the recipe. Not in there it's really. a partnership <laughs> probably. And what sandwich did you want, Miles? Oh, the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant as well, please. And I would also love a cold brew with sweet cold foam, the small, please. Can I get uh, a, a classic um, cake donut, like plain, the most plain thing you have? Yeah. Rainy toll. Uh, can I have a uh, medium black coffee and also your favorite donut, but not unless it has jelly? Hell yeah. And we're then, actually gonna we're gonna add on a second one of those as well. <laughs> yes, yeah. please. And then um for for your boy over here, I would love a a medium iced chai latte. Could I do that with oat milk, please? Let's fucking go. And then can we get an order of hash oh, browns? Wow, I was really crazy because I was in the middle of ordering <laughs> myself. Do you have any little <laughs> vegan treats? Little vegan treats? Any vegan donuts? <laughs> What, what did you say? What? Alma what, bites. What the egg hell bite. is an alma bite? An egg bite. Egg oh, bite. no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Can we get uh, <laughs> uh, five chocolate m munchkins? Well, I guess we're going to have to do ten then. Yeah. I have a question. If I had ordered 50 chocolate munchkins, would I be able to do that? Or is that too, is that too many? But can no. they all be chocolate? Wow. All right, we'll stick with ten. Wow, that's wild. I tried that in high school, and they got real mad at me. No, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to feast. Okay, Jesus. so Zach, you started celebrating. So to me, that told me you were done ordering. Well, that's right. I Zach celebrated. Said, you said, "Woohoo, let's go!" Woohoo, let's go! So I thought, okay, well, that means he's he's all done. I First thought, of all, I'm never done. I thought I was trapped in sort of like an endless cycle. He go anything else, and we just kept <laughs> every time. <laughs> Every time he has, well, we did first, have something this else. This is our first time at Donkey's. And I was like, whoa, like, what if we just never stopped? I want everyone to know also there was no one behind us. There's no one behind us. <laughs> just no I don't know why Miles is lying to the audience. There's no. a huge line down 25 the block. 25-car pileup. <laughs> um, I, uh, I looked online before we came here, and <laughs> they didn't have plant milk as options. Really? So oh. I thought that I was going to be shit out of luck, SOL as they say, which is why I brought my own BYOT piping hot. Is that the one that smells like coffee? No, this is a uh, shitty old plain old plain black old, tea. Plain old. Zach does drink a tea that really smells like coffee to me. That's yeah, nice. Is it dandelion? No. <laughs> dandelion tea is like <laughs> fake coffee. Really? Yeah. Well, how, like it smells like coffee and tastes like coffee? Uh -huh. or? So let's talk about Dunkin', yeah. gang. Uh, yeah. Dunkin' is, is a big East Coast chain. It was a huge deal when they finally came to old California. Did, what year? Like uh, recent? Uh, uh, it was, it was 2015 or 16. Oh, wow, that is recent. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously in my town, we grew up with Dunkin'. People run on Dunkin'. It was a big thing for our people, but what about y'all? My mother loved it until Starbucks came, and then she mm -hmm. traded teams. She yeah. switched. Because I remember when I was a kid, I, we didn't have them in Tennessee, but they did have them in South Carolina. Uh, so when we went to Hilton Head, which we went to <laughs> two to three times a year for my entire childhood, um, <laughs> we would stop at Duncan, and, and Mother would get her, her treats. Mother and needs her <laughs> treats. Mother would get her treats. And I would also get a donut, so I was, you know, I was into that. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
but then Starbucks happened and we tried it and my mom was hooked. Oh yeah. And no longer was Dunkin' our place of choice. And yeah. I no longer got donuts. But I, I normally uh, we would also just go to McDonald's and get some fucking sausage biscuits. Oh, some yeah. Hash browns. Mm. So good. I did get the hash browns from here because they're one of the best things uh, at Dunkin'. Really? I was so just I thought surprised that you them. ordered that, but I was excited. Oh, they're good. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. Bees. You know what I'll say though? I think the vibe of Dunkin' is sort of like like Starbucks is like, okay, it's obviously a giant chain and I'm but we're trying to be like a little bit like fancy about it. Dunkin' is sort of just like actually our logo is just a cup of coffee. We're well, not I even think, isn't it a donut? Morning. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, that's a big Thank total. Thirty two ninety one. That's a lot of donuts. That's a lot of Dunkin'. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of Duncan. We didn't really coordinate our order. We kind of all went rogue. Yeah, we went ham. Uh, yeah, that's definitely. Right. It was spiritual. Yeah, I'm spiritual. excited about Zach eating ten back to back munchkins. I here's the thing, gang. Okay, we'll figure it out. Awesome. We have more. Thanks. Awesome. So as I said, I I grew up Thank with you. with Duncan. We had one in our <laughs> town. I when I was a freshman, I had a a senior Thank friend. You. Uh-huh. And she would drive us to Dunkin D- Dunkin D's, and we would grab donuts before before school. And I tried Sun to order a fifty pack of cold brew oh, well. okay. with foam. That's me. Thank you. This is the blended Every- thing. This is the blended Munchkin thing, the one with donuts Ice inside spice. of it. The donuts inside Ice spice of it. Is Ice spice. This oh. is a hot oh. coffee. Oh. Guys, <laughs> I just, this is I just, your latte. I just booped cream all over our GoPro. Oh. Wait, this is this is a medium? That's it. <laughs> this is fucking huge, Thank bigger you than my much. head. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good one. Oh, all right. We have do not a have enough fantastic day. A dunk tast. Um, um, my history with <laughs> Dunkin'. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, jump right back in. I'm curious. Um, well, I'm from the Wild West. And so obviously Starbucks wicked, wow, was my wicked, wicked, wow, wow, shit. West. Love Starbucks. Then I went to school in Boston, and everybody was up their ass about Dunkin'. And yeah. so this is really my first time drinking it with an open heart because before I just in denial, I was like, or just like in defiance. Bless you. I'm was, gonna, I'm gonna make some you. bold bold claims about Dunky D's. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, notoriously, their coffee comes pre-mixed, lots of cream, sugary in it. It's too much. And yeah. I think mm. that uh, you Dunkin' girlies out there, you're broken people, and that's fine. Oh. We're all broken. We're all bro- we're all broken in our own ways. You're broken in your own little adorable special way. Yeah. Zach and how are you broken? Alienating our audience in a fun way. Uh, <laughs> in a fun <laughs> new I- I'm gonna way. say something crazier. Here we go. They're donuts. Oh, Zach, oh, no. you better careful, tread careful, lightly, careful, baby. Careful, We're about careful. to lose bum, the fucking bum, geography bum, of our audience. Bum, 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 not bum, as bum, good bum, 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 as the Munchkins. Bum, 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 oh, that's actually I not a hot take. I think that the Munchkin <laughs> is the single best culinary creation. Go off, King. No. And you, <laughs> and you guys are going to... Keith hit a low note there. <laughs> you guys are going to bite off, your King. donuts and you're going to be upset. Well, here's my question about the Munchkin. It's a donut hole, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a to- it's a different thing. It, well, it's, it's a different it's thing. Not, it's not a whole donut. It's the way that it cooks. It's the way that it cooks. <laughs> it's the the way that like it this. Is. <laughs> now I'm very excited about the um, ice spice pumpkin munchkin treat because yeah. it has three pumpkin munchkins blended up inside of it. That is. So did ice spice? Do you think it was her people who came up with this, no, or no, do you no, think no. it was she's her? A, she's critiques. a culinary star. She, she loves. was making it herself, and <laughs> she heard that people wanted to try what she was doing. Here's a little straw. She used to work at Dunk. Oh, got it. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just making shit up. That'd be awesome, though. Oh, that's thick because there's physical bread inside. Of course. And this is the frozen ice spice coffee. The chai is sugary. Mm. 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 Wow. Going really chew on the munchkin. <laughs> oh god, that's oh so good. Mm, mm, mm. Let me try Ooh, it. Ooh, Let me nope. get in nope. there. Let me why? Get... Why oh, no? No, sir. No. Why no? Oh no! The Mm-mm. consistency is oh. bad. The taste is bad. The fucking that is so fucking foul. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. God, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, oh my who? God. The taste is it tastes like chemicals. It's you, awful. It's like you bitter. gotta tell me more. It, oh. I can taste all of the individual things in there. I can taste the food. I can taste <laughs> an intensely bad syrup. Like a yeah. really it gross like chemical. Almost like alcohol syrup. or like, something. Yeah, it's almost alcoholic because it's so concentrated. It's so intense and like 
there's sort of a bite to the it. The coffee in it tastes burnt. We haven't even gotten to the <laughs> chunkiness. It and then, yeah, they, <laughs> it shouldn't be chunky. It's like crumbs. And by the way, the ice was chunky. Like the ice is somehow too big to be a, a, a milkshake, and there's munchkin chunks in it. By the way, just like Ice Spice likes it. That's right. It is horrible. That is really unexpectedly bad. <laughs> you got to do another sip. No, oh, I, oh, I don't know. That I <laughs> I'll do it. You it was so it. bad. Get in there. But I, I just. Maybe it'll be better in a second. Oh, wow. I need to wash <laughs> it down. It was fucking a nightmare. God damn it. Also, like, because of the the solids in there, yeah, the, you oh. get that, like, end of the drink sound and the straw, yeah. like, in the middle of yeah. the drink. In the because, middle of the Because yeah. there's little open pockets of air where there were solids before, and then the ice isn't settling in. Yeah. I want to travel the world and say bonjour, hola. I think it helps you understand people. It helps you travel. It helps you experience the world, which is why you got to get Rosetta Stone. They are the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app, and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. I love watching movies in their original language. I don't like reading subtitles, though. How cool would it be if I could just understand foreign film. And that is why Rosetta Stone is so cool. They've been the trusted expert for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered. It's this fast language acquisition. So you're going to learn to really speak, listen, and think in a new language. They have speech recognition, which gives you feedback on your accent and real time. It's convenient and an amazing value. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 40% off. That's $179 for unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 40% off at rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. It's the calm before the holiday storm. And you're feeling calm because you prepared your e-commerce business for the holiday rush now by using ShipStation. ShipStation is so easy to use. Their dashboard makes managing orders just incredibly uh, efficient and seamless. You can do a free trial. It's a super quick setup. And now is the time to try it if you've been on the fence. Uh, One of my friends started making snow globes. This is a real thing. He got hooked up with ShipStation. It made everything in his life so much easier so he can spend time on the art and let ShipStation worry about the logistics. You can quickly and easily update crucial order information to reduce your errors. There's effortless integration everywhere you sell online. That includes Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. They have industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Set up your business for the holiday season with success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code TRIPOD today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code TRIPOD. That is really like one of the... And I have a high tolerance for like fun little, you know... Interest, like seasonal, novelties. Yeah, novelty yeah. seasonal drinks, but that is chunky You have and a bad. high tolerance for a special little treat. <laughs> yeah, by the way, I have, a, I have a high tolerance for a special little treat, and that's a fact. Exactly. Yeah, I, oh, that is well, I, just, something. I find, well, first of all, just to stay on ice spice, I find it surprising, Miles, because you kind of notoriously love chunky liquids. That's kind of your thing. At home, you're always slurping down chunks on the reg. Sorry. <laughs> what? Boba? I'm like, are you doing boba? Like, boba's not really chunky. No, yeah. I just like your normal drinks. Like, you're always kind of putting chunks in. I'm always chunking. You're always, no, you're no the- I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> I am sort of drinking. They used, to, ca- they used to call you chunks. <laughs> right? You're, you're kind of the chunk. They called ki- me chunks, when I, but that was only in 11th grade. You're, you're kind right. of the chunk <laughs> king of. <laughs> they, they call me call the chunk you. king of. <laughs> thanks for absolutely bleep it. <laughs> my, where I live in Los Angeles. You're kind of the chunk king of Burbank. Is well, what I mean, they say. I, look, you know what I'll say? Like, some things can be chunky and good. Like some things, like a smoothie that didn't quite ra, ra you know, raspberry. A mashed potato everything. you got if it's all the way smooth. But yeah, I mean, right. I'll eat it. But I'll eat it. But How big of a chunk do you want in your mashed potato? Like, uh, probably the size of a well, engagement that, ring. Well, you guys remember Miles' is <laughs> old. Uh, <laughs> it's like, are you dropping hints to somebody out there, maybe? Just like an engagement <laughs> ring. I don't know if you're thinking about it. I don't want an engagement <laughs> ring. The right type of chunky is there's an engagement ring in it. 
I have, an, I have a Pinterest of my favorite type of engagement ring. Chunks. Streaking for a smoothie and there's a fucking engagement ring in this movie. That would be huge. It would yeah. never go through the straw. I well, mean, yeah. yeah. You well, guys all... Straw. Are you going to reveal the hash oh, yeah. browns or not? Guys. Oh, no. What the happened? hash browns are adorable. Yeah, I knew that. I They're knew little munchkin-sized oh, hash brown they're excellent. bites. They're hash rounds. That's adorable. No, if I may. That is a great name. They should call it that. Really? They really should. Let me get in there, Zach. Thank you, honey. Okay. They're Oops, excellent. I took two. Okay, it's, okay. It's, okay. it's all right. That's more from Daddy. They're excellent. Oh, yeah. There's like a nice oniony-ness to it. Yeah, they're mm. herbaceous, you baby. Oh, these are good. They're almost like um, little p- potato pancakes. They're not really crunchy. It's, they're mm. more latkes. I think they would have been crunchy if we ate them right when we got them. But. Zach is going uh, for round two. Good work, Keith. Mm-hmm. This is definitely the best thing from Duncan. Yeah, it's really good. Is this That's... the fucking Rosh Hashanah special over here? My goodness. Maybe. I swear to God, this is the closest fast food has ever tasted to the a food vodka. of my people. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say this. The, oh cold foam, the cold foam cold brew is good, but the cold foam compared to Star, ba- star Bangs. Star Bitch. Star Bitches. Whoa. Um, is uh, like the cold foam evaporated almost immediately. It was uh, almost like a magic trick. Sorry, sorry. I am not ready to move on. That is a revelation. I told yeah. you they were good. Is this a green an onionness to it, Zach, that I really did enjoy. They're kind of hearty. This is better than the McDonald's hash brown. Yeah. Yeah, way better. This is phenomenal. Yeah, they're amazing. What the fuck? They're really good. How, does every no? I don't think everyone knows this. Well, they should. You're being so cool about it. Well, I you know, He's a I, cool know guy. I know everything <laughs> about fast food. I know what's good at every place at this point. That's a good point. <laughs> you guys at home who are listening can't see, but Keith, as he said, I know they're really good. He put on four pairs of sunglasses, yeah, right. one after the other, and then took his hat, turned it around backwards, and kind of crossed his arms and leaned. So sure? mm-hmm. Hardee's has a similar style to this. They're not nearly as good, but they are mm-hmm. crunchier. And they're still pretty good. I grew these up are the best. going to Hardee's exclusively as a breakfast snack oh, they on were a road trip. King of oh. breakfast. Yeah. They fried chicken biscuits. Damn oh. more. Damn. And that was before I discovered Bojangles, but as a little boy, that's usually what we do. Yeah. Okay, now donut time. Who ordered the what? I ordered the plainest thing they had. Yeah, that's okay. going to be Keith City. That's going to be right here, the plain donut. Plain cake. So this is... Yeah. <laughs> it, it looks yeah. like a donut that no one finished. Mm-hmm. I will say, you know, about all these little things is that I yeah. I appreciate the no- you didn't like it. It's fine. <laughs> A little plain. <laughs> you did sort of order. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you ordered, you were like, fucking take everything off of it. I want a naked fucking bland thing. And they were like, okay, here you go. Well, because these, when they're really good, are I mean, like totally good. But this right. is very It's like the good. rotisserie yeah. chicken. Like you order a rotisserie chicken to see how good of a chef is. Thank you, Rainy. Wait, I have never. I sorry, Rainy. What Everyone restaurant judges are you a chef order? on the rotisserie chicken? What, what restaurant? That's what you're supposed to do to see the caliber of the chef. You go to Nobu. <laughs> I'll have the rotisserie <laughs> chicken. Honestly, know, like, the chefs' rotisserie chickens are like the whole reason they're good is just time. <laughs> like, also, it's like something that's only in grocery stores. I feel like rotisserie chickens. Or, I've never had a rotisserie chicken in a restaurant. Yes, you have. When? Zenku chicken. Oh, Zenku chicken's the exception where it's so fucking good. Yeah, I'm Mediterranean. Go you know, they have really good chefs. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. true. Um, so Miles Keith's Donut up. was bland, but I was going to say, I think that the way that we're consuming this Duncan is like, I re- it really makes me like it a lot, where it's not a part of my routine. I'm sort of getting the novelty punch mm-hmm. of it. Rainy, can I dip my donut in your coffee? Oh, yeah. In the ice spice? No, heavens no. I just this want is a, a, light, a light dash. This is a fun, shareable moment. Light dash. And now, Rainy. If you can get into it. You ordered the chef's special That's donut. Enough. That's nice. As That's I was lunch. dipping it, Rainy also lifted it, and my thumb just went into your coffee. Scalded it hot. <laughs> Scalded it hot. Rainy started drinking finger coffee. Mm. Oh, that made it so much fucking better. If you guys are. Uh, oh. po- if you're pouring a water, if you're pouring Tiramisu. a water, and your finger accidentally grazes the water and it goes into your cup. Yeah, it's, that's flavor. Do you pour the water out? It's no out, longer or, vegan. Or will you... Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> will you pour the water out and start over? Yeah, absolutely. I probably would. Yeah, I'm going to drink, drink finger this. Water. Oh, I'll put yeah. my fingers all over that water. I find that I'll drink the finger water. Yeah, why Obviously not? Obviously, I drink the it's finger my water. my finger. I get it. When I was younger, I would have poured it out. But now, it's just like... Really? Yeah, I probably would have. You were cleaner as a child than now? No, I think I just was more superstitious. Mm-hmm. Superstitious. More anxious. It's well, unlucky. Like, oh, the finger. You, there's like a right way You're to do stuff. You're going to get sick. Oh. Was it a sick issue or were you just like, this is wrong No, because I was eating fucking dirt pig shit. I was just like yeah. covered in dirt in the woods. So I don't think it was that. I think it was just like, oh, it's going to taste like fingers. Oh, yeah. Your artisanal water. Mm-hmm. 
cannot taint it. Now, Zach, um, I have you two more donuts dumb. over yeah. here. So, Miles, which one did you order? Rain, I said, give me a fave donut that's not jelly. I, I copied Rainey's mm-hmm. order. So, you both went with the chef special. <clears throat> yeah. So, inside this bag, yeah. we have two different donuts. I hope it doesn't. That's interesting. And interesting. we said, oh, give different. me your fave. And they have he two said, faves? actually, I have two faves. So, huh? first, we have. The frosted donut, frosted with blue sprinkies, which I think is like kind of I, I I don't know. It's a little hmm. Now again, this is where I may ruffle some feathers, but I don't love this donut. I think that it's too yeasty for my liking. Oh, and but you I haven't even uh, tried it. Well, I just I know it. Oh. I know Dunky. You think that the Dunkin' donut is a little yeasty? Now, Rainy, I'm looking at this donut. I want to know what the other option yeah, is. Yeah, because that's is. clearly the lower <laughs> tier option. Well, I think Rainy are going to have to Rochambeau. Because yeah, that's obviously the donut that neither of us want. So both of you are going to that. Say well, that's that a neutral. You, like that's I, neutral. it's fine. I, I would eat that for sure. But I want to know if the other one is. Well, what's what are your? Okay, so for me, it's chocolate. Well, for me, if I came home and that was sitting on my counter, I'd eat it. Of course, but I if it was a second it. donut, I might not eat that one. I think that yeah. I'm looking for a chocolate or a cream fill. Oh. Well, I don't think you're gonna get either of those because you said no jelly, and they're probably they probably just thought no innards. But I didn't say yeah, no custard or well. creams. <laughs> How do you know this one doesn't have creme? Because there's oh no fucking Zach, think with your brain, okay? <laughs> there's a hole in the donut where the cream would go. There's a hole in the donut where the, the cream, cream would go. go. There's, there's a, a hole, hole in the donut, donut where the cream, cream would go. go. <laughs> That's also pretty sexual. That's good. Now, uh, Miles and Rainy, <laughs> I'm gonna give you both the option. Yeah. To lock in this donut or Deal or no deal style. You can risk it. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna risk it. So Rainy. Wait, you, sorry, you're, wait, you're Rainy, which one are you you're locking in that I'm one? I'm locking that one in. Oh wow, really? Okay, I'm because risking it all. I'm concerned that the that they're gonna go rogue with the second one. I know. I'm risking it all. Give it deal or no deal. No deal. <laughs> Why do you play that game? Rainy, here is your donut. Here's right. Rainy is taking donut. the blue sprinkle. Thank you. This is a huge moment for me. And now both of you, you you said your wish for this donut. Yeah, I said cream. And Rainy, your wish chocolate. was- Chocolate. Yeah. Oh, no, it's going to be chocolate, Oh, it's isn't definitely it? going to be chocolate. No, 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 Let's no. fucking go! Oh, chocolate! Oh, glaze. shit. <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> 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 go back to that kid's house. That was but I've got news for both of you. <laughs> There's not a third one, is there? And but luckily, there is a third one because your boy got ten chocolate munchkins. Ten chocolate yeah. balls. We got ten chocolate ten balls. balls. And Rainy, you may have a you may have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Miles, you know what? You may have a ball too because I want you to know how much better the ball is than that donut. What it looks like is that this is just a bunch of munchkins smashed together. This donut is stuff. soft. This munchkin is so soft. Like, so munchkin soft. Munchkins are soft. You mean perfect? Soft. Munchkins are soft. It seems like an NBC. Munchkins are soft. Munchkins are soft. Yum, yum. Do we yum, think yum. this is gang, real? Gang, 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 gang. Gang, gang. What'd you say, Zach? I don't think this is real cream. I think this is actually secretly vegan. Mm. Yeah. She did say that the omelets were <laughs> vegan. <laughs> I don't that think she sick. heard us. I think yeah. she was done with us, and I agree. You we don't care if you share the bag. I think oh, we were okay. difficult. Cool. What else was there? Anything? Yeah, I got a sandwich. Uh, no, I threw that out. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Miles got a sandwich, but he but, already said he risked it all, so it looks like I got a sandwich. <laughs> Keith, you can absolutely yeah, you have a bite. Lo- you locked your answer no, in, Miles. No, it's actually discriminatory of the <laughs> no, sandwich. These, these are really good. I'll take a bite. Please take a bite. Oh, <laughs> these are amazing. These munchkies. That's I'm what to get I'm munchkies. talking about. So let me try the really I mean, I like that they're a little round sphere. Now, you, Rainy, did you take multiple bites of the munchkins? Yeah. Because I feel like this is something you go... Okay, yeah, but it's actually like a nigiri. You're supposed to have it in one bite. It's the proper way to do it. A nigiri? nigiri? What is that? A nigiri or a sashimi ring? Oh. <laughs> um, nigiri. My mouth is like scientifically small. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get. What? I- <laughs> what do you mean? Scientifically small. Did you study it? Well, I had to get four adult teeth pulled because they didn't fit. Oh. Really? Yeah. What, was it your wisdom teeth? No, I also had to get those pulled, mm. and then I got strep that day. And my oh. mom was scared of the epidemic, the opioids epidemic, and didn't give me any painkillers. When I was in the hospital, I I was like, I don't know if I should take the painkillers. And up. both the nurses and Maggie at the same time were like, "You fucking idiot!" No. <laughs> um, Keith, I'll say the sandwich. Yeah. Really nice. Could have used a little hot sauce. Uh, are we gonna go get some discount toys or what? Here's well, the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing, Zach. I googled toy store. Here we go. And it didn't come up. 
on Google Maps. Oh. And I was like, that's strange because I could see it. I see it. It's right there. I see it. It's right there. But it it's not listed as a business on the internet. Well, you know what else I do? A lot of I have a friend who's very smart. Oh, and he was saying, me. It's me. brag." It's and he me. was saying, "Not to brag, I have a smart friend." I'm the smart friend. Nope. But um, <laughs> <clears throat> he was saying that a lot of there's a lot of places that uh, he was driving through town with his accountant friend, also supposedly a smart guy. I'm a brag. I'm a brag. Yeah, my, wait, wait, wait. We got it. I, I'm. I don't want to take this at face value. <clears throat> Why do you say he's smart? Like, what credentials does he have? Well, he's forty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Big. So he's definitely wise. Yeah. And he's just a smart guy in general. Um. Do do. Do, 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 do. He looks smart. You talk to him and be like, that guy's really smart. He invented okay. chess, right? He invented chess in 1800. I'm not sold. What, text him right now and ask him what six times seven is. So basically, it's <laughs> 47. So basically, <laughs> <laughs> You knew the right answer, and then you changed it last minute. <laughs> so basically, basically, he was saying that a lot of places in Los Angeles, I've been talking for too long. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've sort, of, just, we've sort of interrupted you enough, I think. I can just feel the clock running out. <laughs> we stand a self-aware kid. <laughs> you say a lot of businesses in Los Angeles, as you drive through, you can tell that they're fronts or they're tax schemes for, mm. yeah. for like um, laundering money. Right. Right. Like vape stores, for example. He was like, oh, yeah. tons of vape stores. Like They're cash businesses. Think about realistically how much the rent costs and how much they would need to make to turn a profit yeah. and it would like you need to sell fucking thousands of vapes so a month are, or whatever i've heard this before yeah. and what yeah. are they fronts for they're money laundering schemes so if you have a cash business um this but is all what, from, what money are you laundering you're just the not you're, anything so you, let's say yeah. you're a drug dealer right and um you have a bunch of cash and you need to wash the cash so you can pay your taxes to the irs isn't like why does this guy have a fucking house mm -hmm. and he like what like what does he do they're gonna look into that they're gonna find out you're a drug dealer so you have all this cash. Basically, I watched Ozark, and this is all from that. But uh, you would Mark. take the cash, and you would falsify transactions at the vape store using the cash. So then you are cutting the cash with, you know, dirty cash with clean cash, and then you're able to pay taxes on it and then put it into the system so then you can pay yourself a salary. I've but always wondered, because there's so <laughs> many uh, psychics in Los Angeles with really prime real estate and they yeah. never uh -huh. seem to be open. Okay, right. Also a money laundering scheme. Yeah, that seems like the most. And I would like to yeah. go to all of them. Uh, well, I walked in once because I wanted to get a psychic reading and I was like, it was right next to the restaurant and it was, uh, I was like, I have to leave this place. It smelled crazy. If a psychic got audited, I I would know there were fakers. Oh yeah, because they'd see it coming. Yeah. Psychic being audited is a really funny <laughs> short film. <laughs> so it says here you consulted. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> you know, you Would you always, like a reading? <laughs> you always see people laundering through things like vape stores or psychics, but you never see someone laundering through their dreams. Laundry. Well, it's because if they, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Laundry, actually, I think that they do. They probably do. Yeah. I'm just thinking if I have all this sick drug money then i'm mm -hmm. gonna make my my day job my dreams dreams what do you mean a ballet studio oh i thought you meant like dreaming mm -hmm. oh i see what you're saying like a pretend at least have it be a pretend cool thing business that of, you like, like discount yeah. toys like discount toys i think the idea is also that like <clears throat> it's not necessarily the business owners of the drug dealers but like you could partner with somebody be like all you have to do is do this and own this store i'm gonna do everything else that's criminals and then I'm going to come in, and you're going to make a ton of money, and we're all going to be f f criminals. Should we launder? I really don't want to be on this the This is definitely going to be played in the Supreme Court. <laughs> you can't say, should we launder? You think they'll take us all the way to the Supreme Court? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's so lucky. Huge. We'll go down history. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme Court, the American uh, government versus the triplog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Triplog v. Uh, judicial System uh, 2023, um, they actually ruled in favor of the plog. So <clears throat> That's true. In episode 248, you said, I love ch ice spice chunks in my mouth. Do you care to elaborate? Um, we actually didn't say that. That was defamation like, lawsuit. Yeah, we didn't like the drink. <laughs> ice spice versus the Try Guys. Well, so here's a question about the discount toy store. Yeah. Are we going to go or are we just going to? Oh. I don't have a parking spot. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you you're sort of in a red zone. <laughs> I'm just pulled over I just in front send of me some in. other teenager's house right now. Do you want to just send me in as a representative? Yeah. yeah. You can bring us some stuff? All right. Yeah. Oh. Give well, only if it's cheap, though. Don't waste the company budget. It's we'll miles. To... It's discount. Oh, that's a really good they point. They definitely don't take Amex. Oh, you know what you should... <laughs> <laughs> 
They definitely don't take our company credit card. So there's no fucking way. We, we, have, didn't tell we, him we have some wanted. visas. He doesn't need to be told. It's a good point. He Remember knows when what I you bought us when harmonicas? Not I nailed it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking nailed it. <laughs> I am curious. You know what? I'd like something that clicks. Ooh, like oh, I got him. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, one of those like bird things. Do, 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 you wind it up. Do, 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 do. Oh, like the stuff that used to be in the mall. <laughs> Remember in the mall? They, does it fly? Where the dogs that would do backflips? That it was awesome. Yeah. Those were sick. Like that kind of thing. What yeah. happened to those guys? I don't know. KB Toys, where are you? By the way, they always had the fun show toys on those, and the mall guy would be like, "You gotta have them," and I'd be like, "My mom's in Jay Penny for way too long." <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever buy something from the? Middle kiosks? I never did. I never did. I was too did. scared. I my was too scared. Like, no they they can't way. be real if they don't have the prime real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I think my parents are like, these guys are all scammers. Yeah. It does seem like most of them are scammy. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And now it's just all like cell phone cases. Yeah. That's another one. I'm like, how the fuck are you turning a profit? You think you're selling yeah. h- hundreds of cell phone cases? Maybe they are. Maybe. But who's buying? I've never seen anyone buying anything. No, that's no. my point. And it's like, okay... How much does it cost, like, to wholesale to get the phone case? Let's say it's fucking, let's say it's five, con- you know, conservatively. They're I'm sure for- it's 20 cents. I'm sure it's 20 cents. That's a yeah. good point. I guess, and then they sell it for, what, 15, 20? Then they're probably making a little yeah, bit. They're making That's a actually, ton. actually not that bad. Like they're probably selling them for, like, five to 20 bucks, and they definitely cost 15 to 30 cents. But that's a good point. But who's buying them? Who? Not me. Yeah, not me. Not me. I'm buying them for fifty dollars from the Apple Store. <laughs> By the way, what you a, buy it straight from the source? No, no. I, I have. I do when I'm buying it all. When I'm getting a, a new phone, I'll normally just do it all there, only because I'm so lazy and I just want it all to be done right now. Yeah, Keith. You know what I did recently uh, as a special little treat to myself. So I have the iPhone 11. Oh, <gasps> did you just get a new? I one? literally was like, you know what? Fucking USB C is back on the iPhone. Let's do this shit. You're doing it? And I'm going for the real thing. I'm going for the fucking 15 or whatever. Is it out? It it comes out. It came, just came out. Like, I pre-ordered it. It comes in on Friday. Oh, wow. my God. I was like, and it was honestly, I fucking business expense that shit because it's like got the new camera yeah. and yeah. whatever. And I was like, I'm going to use this to make content. And I am very excited about it. I haven't had a new phone in a long time. How much storage did you put on that bad boy? So I did. That's a good question, Keith. I have the 128 on my F11 right now. So I only got the 256 because I was like... The fucking way cloud storage works with the iPhone stuff yeah. usually just goes you know there. how much storage I have on my phone? A terabyte. A terabyte. Because you shoot so much video. I shoot so much video, and I don't like using iCloud. Well, I don't really like using it either, yeah. and that's the thing. But I think when I shoot a video, like I just shot this video on my phone recently, and I was like, oh, I just offloaded it, and then it's backed up, and then I deleted everything. It is That is a good thing. But I think it's harder for you because you're like, sometimes you have to give it to an editor and then you're like, did it actually go? Yeah. Like, and then if they need it, then I don't want to have you know. And the videos come out further apart, so it yeah, probably is got, like, like stressful. I'm recording Luberger things, it, right. hour vlog things, other. Th- I just oh, there's a lot going into this yeah. phone of mine. I do feel like sometimes I wake up and press record, and I feel like you are even more so of that, Keith. Yeah, and Miles mm. now. Thank mm. you. Mm. Keith's mm. up. He's eating a fucking menu. 9 a.m. every day. <laughs> and I will say that we're doing the Cheesecake Factories right now, yeah. and they are starting at 8 a.m. Like, the first oh bite is happening at, like, 8.05 in the morning. So and normally, I do eat the menus. Uh-oh. I guess it's done. Maybe it got too hot. What are we talking about? Um, who cares, right? No, but I... <laughs> so, Keith, uh, what's been wowing you lately? And actually, Rainy, yeah. to that point, mm. what's been wowing you lately? And Miles, to that point, as well. <laughs> <laughs> what's been wowing me? Um, yeah, Keith, what's what's wowing you? Are you... I mean, obviously... I was talking about Cheesecake Factory. Oh, that's right. That's right. Let me just that's say, so right. I've 805. been... 805, and the one we're shooting <laughs> this week, the first section is Steaks. Followed by <laughs> pastas, followed by forty cheesecakes. Jesus! So it's really a unique eat 40? The menu. forty, and then there's sixteen other desserts, that's, and there's like a kids menu. That's well, really... I was doing Zach and Miles, but I, since I sat sat and ate a few bites, I really filled up on those few bites, and so it yeah. really because sometimes I think I'm like, oh, it's, eat the menu, but it's only one bite of everything. Like I that's know. kind of like three meals, which isn't that bad. But yeah. no. But it's no, not. It's, crazy. it's, it's a lot more. And I'll, also, crazy. I'm normally taking like two bites of everything yeah. to really understand really check it. In. Oh, here comes There's... our boy. Hey. How'd hey. it go? What did we get? What is what, what? First of all, what did I miss? Well, you missed me talking about eating steak, pasta, and cheesecakes at eight in the morning that come this coming Thursday. You missed us almost saying what 
was getting us excited. And then also a GoPro overheated. Yeah. So now <laughs> we're down to one cam. Well, let me tell you, gang. Discount toys, <laughs> is that not? Because everything is very competitively priced. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I was wowed. First of all, you walk in. It's beautiful. They have hexagonal lights. <gasps> hexagonal. What is that Hexagonal, hexagonal, hexagonal lights. Along the oh! ceiling. Bunch of LEDs. They've got the little fucking Damn, baby, got cars? The little cars. baby cars. I gotta get one for Julian. How much do you think a baby car is? Probably like $100. $250. Up five hundred and thirty dollars. Oh, the, che- the cheapest was two fifty. Most of them were like five hundred. Too much. Uh, He's gonna grow out of it. He's not gonna take that on the road. Uh, and I asked him. <laughs> I went up to the guy. I was like, "How fast do they go?" And he's like, "Sorry." And I'm like, "How fast?" And he's like, "I don't." And I'm like, "Speed." And he's like, "Oh." And then he showed me there were two buttons. And so. I'm not sure how fast they go. <laughs> he didn't really understand. Uh, they had a lot of official branded toys. I'm talking Mario. I'm talking movie franchises. <laughs> I'm talking Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, here's the question. So what toy did you end up getting for us? So I looked. Oh, <laughs> by Santa the way, vibes, Santa secret. Vibes. And also secret mission. Your boy got to use the bathroom. Huge. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> was it was it really for public or did you go? No, to, no he let went. me. We became friends, and he let me go in the back. Was he you nice? used the employee bathroom at the discount toys? <laughs> yes, sir. So I went high, I went low, and I said, "I want something I've never seen before." So I got us Ola brand swing goose. The Rapping Goose. Whoa! Oh, my God. Holy Premier. shit. This is fucking, yes. This for, fucking rules. It's a goose with a shirt. This for, is sick as fuck. For a mere $19.99, <laughs> you can expensive. get the hip-hop B-Boy Light. It's a goose. He's got headphones around his neck. He bobs his head. And let me tell you why I thought this was good. I'm going to read you the description. First of all, this is uh, 18 plus. Wait, no, it's a, a toy. It says it right there. 18, 18, 18 months. months. I'm going to start driving as you exemplify this. So put your seatbelt on. Yeah, yeah, that's good. 18 months plus. 18M plus. He said, I am Miko. I'm a good dancer and I can rap too. My head swings and I can interact with you. This feels so on the verge of something like this goose is going to talk and it's going to be so offensive. Well, <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> I'm really that worried. this features three. Hip hop songs. What? Three. That's crazy. That's kind of a lot. He walks. He's got music. The light flashes. The gooseneck necks. And it's got a standby mode. Gooseneck activation. Love to have heard the pitch meeting for this. So it's like a fucking (laughs) goose that raps, right? How many songs does he know? Three. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, just three, but he can walk. In case you were worried he wasn't going to come with you. What does the neck do? It activates Keith. Wait, so it's, it's like we have to have needed batteries for this, no? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, he didn't think of this? Literally. It's style. We if can take A's, it from the Zoom H6 the A's, and put it right in. And like, yeah, take it from the Zoom H6, put it right in there. And here Zach wanted to be called my smart friend. <laughs> and here earlier today, Zach saying, I'm your smart friend. Didn't even think of the batteries for the what g- rapping goose. What do you think? Goose. I mean, yeah. I, do you think I'm not smart? Um, let's go. No, to an I ad. think you're slay. Let's get to an ad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I. I mean, I hope I'm the smart friend. I hope people describe me as I, oh, my smart friend. Well, who, who do we think is the? If we had to archetype us, who's yeah. the smart friend of the group here? Probably Rainy, just because of the glasses. Gotta be me. I guess we all have glasses. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> but she like really has glasses. But Rainy really has my glasses. My vision is bad. Yeah. My I mean, <laughs> Because I do feel like your vision is you could get around. No, no I absolutely can. It's well, it's for like um one, I think they look cute on me, and two, it's for <laughs> like reading stuff that's a little bit far away, like signage. Mm-hmm. Like I can look at the street sign now, and it's a little bit hard. It's harder to read when I. So I'm, what we I'm have like, like the athlete, the 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 brainiac. Well, the who's the, the clown? Jock, Keith? Well, Keith is also the clown though. So who, I, who is making me the athlete? I, have to say. I think you're the jock. Honestly, that's fucking sick. Hell yeah, you're the tallest. You're the basketball player. Did you oh. ever play basketball? You must have. Troy Barnes style. They must have sort of cornered you into I that. I must have told this story before, but I went to a camp and I shot the basketball oh, at the wrong yeah. hole, hoop and everyone laughed at me. Mm-hmm. 
I am <laughs> massacring this goose. I don't know how to open it. Yeah, Zach, you are struggling. We're trying to open a cardboard box. And here he wants to be called the smart friend. It's like... You're doing like slam poetry with like a recurring line. And here he wants to be like <laughs> some way, political poem. We should do a slam poetry for a blog. I mean, right now. Let's do it. Maybe Zach, I would have to, Zach. With his box. Always with his box. <laughs> Can't get it down on lock. Can't get it down on lock. Zach with the box. The wrapping <laughs> goose must be loose for Zach's box to be toxic. Oh, snap, 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 okay, snap. I just snap. want y'all to see this. <laughs> Zach, you're really struggling. It's the it's like screwed into the cardboard. <laughs> Look at it. Toy, well, Zach, they don't let struggling. children get into Zach, the Zach, you box. unscrew with your fingies. Unscrew with your fingies. <laughs> Use your fingers to unscrew it. Your opposable thumb. Here we go. Oh, oh wait, you unscrew it. Oh, here we go. Zach just joined us Why in 2023. Would it be screwed. They're, it's screwed into the box. Normally, that's like a plastic. Oh yeah, that's choking hazard. Oh, maybe. My baby cannot play with this because he is not 18 months. First of all, your baby <laughs> can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever you need, man. <laughs> If you need to have the wrapping goose on the company for the company, then I think you should have it. I paid for this with my own money. Did you you didn't use the Amex? Well, that's my own money. <laughs> oh, that's a really good point. Your company money is your money? It's just money that I split with Keith and Eugene. You're In a way, you, you're yes. washing the goose. Every purchase the company makes, I want you to realize, Yeah, that's my money. That's interesting. Well, it's actually, <laughs> it's, it's your money in the company setting. Yeah. It's your business money. It's yeah. one third of your money. So really, it's such a good way to spend money because everything that I buy is only it's on, it's sale. For, it's on sale. It's on sale. I, Rainy, now you get it. Now mm -hmm. you get money. Everything, <laughs> everything is on sale when Keith and Eugene are footing the bill. That's right, baby. <laughs> on the company for the company means on the com on Eugene, Keith, and Zach for Eugene, Keith, and Zach. <laughs> oh, guys, we need a screwdriver to get into the. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe. Oh, we're never gonna know what <laughs> song the goose sings. I am worried I that the, the song hip hop, the hip, the hip is a hip, 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 hip hop. hop. Here's the thing, I wanna know, do you think there's so many mysteries in this goose? Do you think it sings real songs or knockoffs? Do you think that it sings in like a cool rapper voice or is it in like a I'm, I'm a voice. little goose? I'm a little goose. Here's my yeah, gonna be that gonna one be. here's my tail songs. and I've got caboose. I'm a goose, and I'm here to say that I'm got the caboose in a major way. Oh, like hell maybe yeah. it's a little sexy of a song. Mm. Hot. <laughs> goose boyfriend. Everybody knows goose boyfriend. What's happening? There's two types of boyfriends. Goose boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you now. That's funny. Thanks, Rainy. First boyfriend. You can either have that guy, or you can have like boring, nice. Boring Nights Boyfriend and Rapping Goose Boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. There's only two types of boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, this goose absolutely was the coolest guy in my high school. Yeah, for Yeah, sure. this guy looks like somebody <laughs> shoved me down the stairs. <laughs> this goose. And then it was like, oh, what happened? Sorry, man. Sorry, Are you okay? Yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> and then he laughs to his friends and you're like, it wasn't an accident at all. <laughs> goose Boyfriend. Goose Boyfriend. <laughs> goose Boyfriend. <laughs> goose Boyfriend. Boyfriend. As a goose. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need batteries and for the next blog we a have to screw drivey. Yeah, right. I mean, so I think that the advice might be let's kick a it. moment. Sure. Let's kick it. Bum 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 ba da da da. Go ahead. Sorry, I was <laughs> usually I rely on the theme song to play so that I can think of what. The, oh, sorry. I guess I bum, bum, remind bum, myself bum, bum, what it is. What's up, Miles Nation? Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah! Goose, goose, goose. Uh, have you ever wanted to <laughs> face your fears in a way that is pretty actually cool like Vin Diesel? Skeet, skeet, oh. my dude. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you worried about your legs? <laughs> yeah. Actually, my left knee's not in great shape. <laughs> I have been teasing a fear for years on this show, and I want everyone to know that I faced my fears and I came out the other side like I was born between the legs of Mother Nature. Wait, let me see. Okay, that was beautiful. Thank you. Um, I feel like I know your fears. Let me see if I can guess it. Let's see if you can guess my fear. 
Um, choking. Oh, it- <laughs> no, Miles enjoys that. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Um, choking. <laughs> Sorry, do you think that my you I, faced your fear? I, I almost joking. choked to death. I was legally declared dead on Saturday, but not one is a two. Well, maybe your you food. realized something that was like, oh, if you can cough, then you're not really choking, or something like that, where it, it soothed you. I like where this is going, but I don't want you to name more of my fears for worry that it'll anxious? be too revealing and <laughs> make me too anxious. Piranhas. You're worried people hate you. No. <laughs> okay, so basically. I got tikka masala on my white pants. Oh, interesting. That's absolutely right, actually. I had dinner with Zach and Keith recently. Uh, you got butter chicken on Brag much? Pants. I got butter chicken on my yeah. white ass. So I've been wearing white pants for a minute. <laughs> for a minute. But it's been actually recent because I didn't wear white pants for years because I was intimidated by the idea that I would have tikka masala on them. Yeah. And I, I would mean, mention yeah. tikka masala a lot. Still haven't gotten chicken tikka masala on them. You got butter chicken on them. <laughs> but they're similar shades of They are very, very yeah. similar looking. Uh, and butter chicken uh, is, yeah, a, oil. A passerby would say tikka masala or butter chicken. Mm-hmm. So basically I got tikka masala on my white pants, and I was worried they would never come out. And Sarah said, mm, what's up, King? Use the power of being mean they use the power of OxyClean. <laughs> yes. Okay, I have something. That I, I have an addition to this after you're done. Sarah sprayed me down like a common hose. And basically, it got the stains out of my pants. I heard I'm that. sorry. I was expecting a little more fanfare. <laughs> like, I was expecting a little more didn't fanfare. Did she spray you down like a hose, or did she just put OxyClean on your pants? She put OxyClean on my pants. No, of course yeah. you put OxyClean on my pants. I do. I love this because I feel like actually sometimes when you get the right product, it is magical. That's right. For example, my bathroom tiles were getting a little gross between the cracks of the mm-hmm. tiles. Could not get it out. Was on my hands and knees and scrubbing with a toothbrush and like this product. But then I was TikTok influenced to get one of those spinner cleaners. You got one? Yeah. Oh, I'm being served. TikTok wants me to buy it so bad. Yeah, but don't get the one they're serving. Look it up and do like the highest rating. Because the one they're serving is Bad, like shitty poo poo. Really, like two stars. Yeah. But if you get the one that's like five stars, and then I got also wire cutters recommendation for wi- for bathroom cleaner. And now my bathroom is sparkling. And oh. it took me like it took me a full year. Like I've been trying to clean it for a long time. So as soon as you get the right product, mm-hmm. it really does. Sometimes like it it's problem solved. Explain to me the wire cutters for the bathroom cleaner. No, wire cutters are website, Keith. You've oh. never been a wire cutter you'd love. No, it's- I just was very confused by it. I was like, I got wire cutters for my bathroom cleaning. Now <laughs> my bathroom is probably like, I've clipped all the wires from <laughs> <in> my bathroom. <laughs> what happened? No, I've never heard of wire cutter. It's a website by the New York Times that uh, rates products, but it's like real people doing it. They like oh. do re- intensive reviews on the top rated mm. shit and then tell you what to buy. I love being influenced. I do. Yeah, no, they're really good. So like, to go, yeah. So to go back to the dinner at which yeah. you got stained, I do have an important question about this dinner. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because originally, so so Miles brought his his beautiful son. Thank you. And his and his wife over. Lovely wife. Uh, beautiful wife. Thank you. Beautiful wife. Lovely wife. Uh, so Miles brought the whole family over, That's right. and it, and to, where? to, to Keith and Keith's Becky's, house. and and we you were supposed dinner to dinner with Keith. I know, can you believe that? Well, and, cool, and right? Zach, <laughs> am I right? And Zach, yeah, he was well, there. Zach with was Keith. there, but it was Keith and Keith. Becky. <laughs> it was Interesting. Wait, so you guys all had dinner? Yeah, we all had dinner. Pa- Jared Popkin was there, and I wasn't and there, which I is know. interesting. I thought that was interesting as well. <laughs> That's kind of weird. See, I'm sort of, this I like that I can sort of toe the line on like I get to be at the dinner, but I also get to be like rainy. Can you believe this? <laughs> well, well, let me tell you so this. What so, what's the content? What dinner was this? It? Is this is why I want to talk about this because we so. So, like, I, I don't know, maybe it was Becky initiated, but she, like, started a group there. We're like, hey, Miles and Sarah and Julian are going to come over. That's right. You guys come on over. We're going to get we're gonna get Bad Matches, our favorite Indian place. That's like, right. come on over for dinner. And it was supposed to be on Friday. I filmed a video where I got super duper fucking stoned. Awesome. And I was like, uh-huh. this is going to... Fuck. <laughs> Camera overheated. Noticed. We're on my cell phone now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we had two GoPros die. It's actually going to fall. So we're having a dinner. 
<laughs> and on Friday, it gets canceled, and it says, hey, we're going to do it tomorrow instead. And I go, well, I've got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. I got pickleball <laughs> with the boys. You play pickleball? And, and with the boys, and I've got a lot of work to do at night, but I think I can make it happen. No awesome. promises, but you know what? I'm going to make it happen. And then <laughs> I, I, the, on the day, I get a text of, like, come on over at 4. And I'm like, that's not dinner. Oh, and it's yeah, like, man. well, Juju goes to bed at early, and I'm like, well, ah, shit. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna come over when I can because I had made these plans. That's but right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over. So I come over and I get there at five, five thirty, and we <laughs> eat it. <laughs> we maybe at we. Wait, wait, wait. Five thirty. Started at four thirty. And I got there maybe at five something. Yeah, uh, you exactly. got there at like five ten, but the the food arrived at five. So that's right. So you were, Zach was actually good. And I get there, we eat. And then basically promptly after dinner, Miles has to leave, so I didn't really get that much Miles time. That's right. But <laughs> during dinner, yeah. we did a champagne toast. That's right, to me. To Miles. That's right. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. Was this a celebrate Miles dinner? That's right. That wasn't sort of. advertised I mean, I think, as such? I and I show up fucking late because uh-huh. I had to pickle with the boys? And how was pickle? Did you at least win in the absence of my big dinner? I fucking crushed it. That's good to hear. But here's the thing. I just, so this is, this has been bugging me all weekend. Was this advertised as a Celebrate Miles dinner and I didn't know or was it a nice dinner in it which was, we it happened was, to celebrate? Trojan horse. I think it was Trojan horse. It was sort of a casual hang and, uh, and Becky and Sarah are like friends and they text each other. And so they were like, let's all have dinner. And that was like, oh, this is good. And then, of course, Popkin gets involved, the life of the party. <laughs> He's over there. Zach and Maggie are coming over. And it's this whole sort of event. And then Becky, very sweetly, was like, you know what? Okay, little champy, and you guys will give me a toast. And I thought that was adorable. And by the way, I um, I lied, and I was in on that the whole time. You knew it was a... I, 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 actually, brought the sh- I actually brought the champagne. You brought the champagne? Yeah. That's interesting. But you had Martinelli's. Oh, yeah, because I'm a man of taste. <laughs> well, no, it's a very sweet dinner, but um, I did get tikka masala in my pants. Slash butter chicken. Thanks, Keith. And um, basically, face your fears because OxyClean yeah. can clean those jeans. Well, we got to get a screwdriver for this little duck. I think we're going to find one. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to so, kill my one. house next week. Well, this one's going to come out first. <laughs> or, I mean, the next one is going to come out first. Is it? Yeah, because. Last week. Last week. Well, I'm about <laughs> to be. hear about the wrapping duck <laughs> last week. Or we hold the duck. And then next week, yeah, wow, I think that's, that's what we should crazy. do. That's what we should what do. Gap. But here's the thing: is that I'm gonna be gone for like th- that's two true. and a half weeks. Looks like Zach has to wait. There ain't no way you're doing. It's my gonna be rapping. six months from now. We're <laughs> not the doing the goose goes. without me. If you the goose will be the most highly anticipated episode of the year. It's just called <laughs> the, the goose. goose. <laughs> I, Boyfriend goose. Here's the thing: Boyfriend is goose. I am absolutely <laughs> dying. And also, look at the way. His neck is kind of... <laughs> okay, I don't really <laughs> like the way he's moving. I like how he moves. He looked like he's given that duck, duck, 9,000. <laughs> gluck, gluck, duck, duck. I'm learning right. some things from this goose, let me tell you what. What an episode. Thanks for joining <laughs> us here on the Tri-Blog yet again. Keith, hit us with the Tri-Blog theme song. <laughs> Yay! It's me, a rabbit goose. You gotta go with me. I'm fucking getting loose. I'm here to say honk honk. Here to say honk honk. Here to say honk honk honk. It's a tripod. Have a good ass week. <laughs> <laughs>